Hmm. Hot metal. Hi guys, Jay Smith here. Down at Break Off Range in Suffolk, yes, it's JPX 91 hot metal time. So, when it comes to this, we're gonna do a little bit of tech first, because there's a lot of tech in the, uh, in the hot metal, and then as you go through the range, there's a little bit less tech. So, just do this, then we'll go outside in the outdoor teaching bay, hit some balls outside, get to see how it feels and, and looks uh, behind the golf ball. Then we're gonna come back, do some proper uh, premium golf ball testing to see how it performs. Anyway, tech side of things, very quickly before we go outside. Um, the new hot metal from Mizuno, it's their third generation of the Cromoly series. Um, they've now, as best they can, I've got lots and lots of information here because there's just so much of it. So I'm having to sort of kind of summarize it. Basically what they're trying to do now, they're trying to make the face as thin as they possibly can do. Uh, retain structure, retain, uh, retain st uh, stability and, and the, um, you don't want to weaken the face too much. There's obviously manufacturers that have tried in the hunt for ball speed that have had issues with face cavings, etc. So Mizuno are not one for failures. So they're obviously trying to get things as as marginal as they can, but still keep the strength of the material. Anyway, so it's 0.2 millimeters thinner. So out of the middle, we should be sort of seeing some increased ball speeds and around the outside, which is obviously it's the hot metal trying to retain ball speeds all around the face. Anyway. Same 360 cup face design, lots of manufacturers have done it in the past and are still doing it because it does give the whole face a little bit of an opportunity to flex when you don't hit the middle. Um, stability frame, basically they're pushing weight towards the toe because of after countless um, measuring when it comes to amateur golfers, their miss, etc. They believe that putting weight out in the perimeter toe section will help the average amateur on their misses. Um, right, now the if you look under the, like kind of like the top end or the, the top line of the hot metal, um, but underneath it, you'll see like little ribs. They had these in the 919 hot metal as well, but this time we have a few more. So basically all they are is basically kind of like dampening bars to stop a very noisy club being introduced. And then just basically, just to finish off the fact that it's got that anti-glare um, finish, so they say it minimizes distractions of the ball. But then again, an MP is chrome. It's a different look. Anyway, when it comes to the lofts, the Hot Metal and the Hot Metal Pros are exactly the same. There's no difference in lofts. So seven irons are 29 degrees, 34, eight, 34, uh, 39, uh, nine, pitch wedge 44, all that idea. So, but you'll have the lofts. I can put that on the screen anyway. So done that boring bit. Let's go outside in the outdoor teaching bay and let's go how, uh, let's go see how it performs and feels when you actually really hit a golf ball before we go actually see out in here what a premium golf ball does when it comes to performance. Outdoors now in the outdoor teaching bay and we're gonna go see how the hot metal works. Now, hot metal. It's always been a bit of a strange club for me because obviously it's something I've never gravitated to. I've never, not necessarily liked it, it's obviously very, very chunky. But again, you've got to remember, this is not something which is the kind of player that I'm gonna be looking for. It's gonna be the player which is looking for absolute maximum forgiveness, something that's gonna get that ball speed firing off the face, gonna launch in as far as it can blooming well go within reason. So the slower swinger, the swinger doesn't, uh, either the senior swinger that, that has lost speed over time is looking for something like the hot metal to try and allow technology to assist them to get in some of that distance back. That's what it's designed for, not people like me. But this is Cromoly, full on Cromoly like the Pro, but this is in its not a crazy state because the lofts are exactly the same. So this is 32, 29 degrees, sorry, for seven iron. So is the Pro as well. Right now, when it comes, now we've got some offset. We have got some offset. So down by the golf ball, we've got some offset now. Um, we've got a slightly thicker top line. The actual the blade length isn't that bad. When I say that bad, as I, again, I prefer a slightly boxier one. But again, you're looking at when it comes to people that are gonna want to, to try these and trying to maximize what they bring to the table through equipment like this. So, um, yeah, we've done all the tech. There's a fair bit of it. <laughs> always is in these kind of clubs, but it's how it feels. 
Oh my giddy. <laughs> oh my giddy. <laughs> it's gone to the moon. Right, this is, reminds me of the old uh, 900. And the 919, to be fair, they just go up. They just go up. I mean, I've got, I got quad on the floor and I've got FSX mobile down there. So we're going to put, and it just feels, it just goes. I'm really interested to go hit this with my game ball. Uh, see how premium ball works with these. Because I just feel these are going to go to like a different planet. These are going to come down distinctly colder because they're going to go come down with ice on them. They're going to go that way. <laughs> I mean, that's what they're designed to do, and they're doing it really well. Obviously, it's not something that necessarily I'd want to see. I mean, these are going to go like too high, but it feels really poppy and lovely. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> now, I've got to be careful with this. Um, because it's so much fun hitting these things, um, they go really high. They, they, they just go really high, they go far, gets lots of ball speed off. And if you're not careful, especially in a testing environment, you can kind of get a little bit like gun ho and see how hard you can hit it and how much ball speed you can create and just how high you can get it and all that lot. But, because it is, it, it's a very explosive feeling. You get, it's not, it, it's louder, yes it is. But it's not necessarily what you would call insulting to the ears. But it is very... <laughs> I mean, it's fun hitting. That's just gone so high. Both of them gone so high. I wonder if I was... No, I don't. I was going to see how high could I hit it. But it's no for testing. Let's do it normal. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's... It's a different sound, it's a different feel, um, but it is a very much a different flight. They're, they're going much higher. The Hot Metal Pro and the Hot Metals just seem to want to go up. The Forge wants to come down a fraction, the Tour is obviously a little bit lower, but again, that's the technology within the clubs that's changing as you progress. For blending purposes, yeah, I'm gonna have to do another video on different irons, blending and stuff like that. So that's another one. But this is just a quick video as such to get all the information that I can get out to you. Um, so you've got an idea when it comes to doing your custom fits, buying choice, etc. But you're right, that's gonna go hit us a load of times. Let's go out uh, back into the custom fitting studio. Um, let's go here on quad, loads and loads and loads of times. Cause it'd be interesting to see how, what kind of like drop offs you get for miss hits and the kind of ball speeds and yada 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 peak heights and that. Um, so I'm going to go use premium ball, my ball, Vice Pro, premium, bang in there, whack a load of times and see how it all performs. Okay, back indoors now. After a load of shots, I'm tired. <laughs> right, it's time for the hot metal results, figures, facts, numbers, whatever you want to call it. How did it perform? So anyway, rather than have an iPad, I've got everything auto queued in front of me so I don't have to constantly keep looking up and down. Anyway, right, so after hitting a load of shots, you know guys, I don't just hit one, two, three, four, or five, I hit so many. What I'm gonna do this time, I'm just gonna put them on the screen in a slightly different way because there is, I, I don't wanna sort of flood you with information. I wanna give you the, uh, what the, the pertinent numbers that you need to know but i don't want to blur you with loads and loads of stuff so i was going to just pop on the screen anyway so ball speed remember this is a 29 degree 7 iron for the hot metal ball speed is 125.1 so very healthy but again remember this is the chromoly this is the 0.2 millimeters thinner to try to get that ball speed explosive off the face you could tell by it didn't actually there was an explosive sound but yeah, 125.1 uh, ball speed, launching at 19.4. Now, 29 degree, so it's doing well launch-wise. Side angle, I just saw a very slight push out there. So it's basically just straight shots on average I was hitting, so it's hitting target. Bat spin, this is what I was really surprised with. These things necessarily, with them being quite, I say, aggressively lofted, there's been a lot more aggressively lofted seven irons in the past at uh, 29 degrees this one there's been some other ones yeah ridiculous but it's still spinning at nearly six three now that is exceptionally encouraging now obviously yes this is a premium golf ball i'm using but again when you start taking loft off you as you if you've seen the, the ball reviews that i've done in the past 
you stop getting that separation of mass amounts of difference in spin between it's when you start getting obviously a wedge yes you'll see a huge separation take loft off and they they, they do um, join up so 6-3 spin is exceptionally good but not as good as the next one when I did the the hitting out in there it just went up it went to the moon and it was one of those ones where it was you could quite easily get carried away from my point of view of seeing how high you could hit it. But under normal circumstances, it's peaking up at 39. 39 yards in the air is about 117 feet off the top of my head, um, which is under normal conditions. I'm not trying to hit it high. I can hit it higher if I want to. So that's descending at 50 degrees. So 50 degrees... <laughs> At 177 yards carry, nearly 178, 177 with rounding. Mm, that's, I can understand why people like them. I really do understand why people like them. When you can put a golf ball that high into a green and stop it that well, the control that you could potentially get is crazy now when you're looking at obviously are they the nicest feeling golf clubs in the world no of course they're not they're not designed to be that's what you have the mp range for and to a certain extent uh, extent the jpx 921 tour but considering these are mizuno's flagship game improvement iron they feel pretty good now obviously there's a proviso or not obviously if you go down to a blade a true forgings yeah, if you want to do an out of 10 scale, I don't know what, but I mean, obviously that's very subjective, but it feels okay considering it's doing that kind of job, which is amazing to get. Club head speed was 95.1. So when it comes to obviously distances, etc., and also heights, etc., you have to look at obviously the speed you're going to produce and the loft you're producing as well. I could be giving numbers of 39 yards in the air, but if I'm producing loads of dynamic loft, well, there's the reason. So I'm going to be doing obviously all of these videos, so if you guys want to watch all four, you can obviously compare them uh, like flight. But 95.1 miles now, clubbed speed with a loft of 23.5 degrees. Remember, that's a 29 degree 7 iron. Strike, just so you guys want to know, is 2.7 is millimeters toe and 2.2 millimeters low on average. So I'm basically within reason, and I'm talking within, yeah, I'm hitting the middle or middle enough to get decent performance figures now the this what i will say the drop off that you get on these i've tested all of them um the drop off that you get on the hot metal and necessarily the hot metal pro which i'll do afterwards is exceptionally good especially off the toe but again that's because of that perimeter weighting they've whacked on the toe there to try and help that and it helps it very very well if you're going to be hitting it slightly off the heel does it it does lose a little bit off the heel. If being completely honest, when you hit it slightly, not slightly, when you do hit it out towards the heel, it's not as helpful as if you hit it out the toe. But again, you won't know until you actually do your own testing, you get mapped yourself to see exactly what your miss is and what your normal shots are. And then to see if this club is gonna be something which is gonna work for you or not. But from the point of view of its feel, it feels okay considering obviously what it's designed to do and it does it does that exceptionally well but it performs brilliantly it comes off the face like a rocket and it just goes up in the air so if you guys who don't swing it necessarily that fast and really want a club to try and find a club that will gonna give you as much assistance getting it up as you possibly can to get that height to give you that carry distance definitely one to try anyway hope you liked the video if you did click that little like button below down the bottom there which way is it? Whichever way. Subscribe. Little red button. Next to it, bell icon. Click that. Then that will let you know next time I upload another video. I've got some other videos that I'm going to do as well. Not just the 921s, all the four. I'm going to do the 921s against the 919s. So that will be an interesting one as well. So anyway, hope you like it, guys. And we'll see you again soon.